What's up guys, Sahaman back with another review. Today we are taking a look at the long awaited Halloween Michael Myers action figure by Mezco. This is the 112th action figure. This is something I am so excited to have in hand and it's perfect timing because the movie comes out in less than a month and they're starting to do horror figures. I mean, we're getting a Jason Voorhees, we're getting an Ash from Evil Dead. Hopefully down the line we'll get a Freddy Krueger, but we have Michael Myers to kick off the horror franchise. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the slipcover. So the front does read Halloween. It has the 112 and it reads Michael Myers up top. You come to the side of the packaging it has the pumpkin with the knife right there. You know, the usual the movie poster that you see a lot. Um, right here on the back, it shows you everything that you get in this set. And it has different, you know, images in the bottom, you know, poses you can put Michael Myers in. So you come with the, it comes with a jack-o'-lantern light-up feature. It has a polystone tombstone, the display stand, eight interchangeable hands, clean and bloody knives, and the ghost sheet accessory. That is awesome. Now I did pick this up from Toy Hideout at Frank and Sons Josh. You know Josh's booth. Everybody needs a Josh. He does have these available. So you know if you guys are a Frank and Sons local, make sure you head over there. Tell him say how man sent you. If not, you can click. I think they're still, <clears throat> excuse me, I think they still might be available at BigBadToyStore.com. You guys can check, just click in the link in the description below. But uh, it says right here, featuring intricate tailored costuming and over 30 points of articulation. So that's the slip cover. So if we remove the slip cover here, you have the open window, which actually reveals the figure. And uh, the box, you know, it does read 112 right over here. And then on the back, you have their uh, their logo right there. But that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open them up. All right, guys, so Michael Myers does come with a lot of accessories. So first things first, we'll, we'll take a look at the base that he does come with. Um, I, I've mentioned this before, if you guys follow my videos, I don't ever, ever use any of these bases, but he does come with a really cool base. I like this one a lot. It does have the mov movie poster on there. It does have a peg. So you have that, and then you also have the, uh, the rod. Um, but again, I'm not gonna use these, so I'll put them back in the packaging. He also comes with a 112 uh, bag, accessory bag, so you can put all your accessories in. So you do get two bloody knives. So these are them right here, and these, again, these are very sharp. So like I always say in my videos, guys, make sure you guys just be careful if you have any kids or you know if they do play with these or manage to get a hold of them, just be careful with them. But you get a bloody version, and then you get a clean version. So there's the bloody version there. So you can see the blood splatter on it, looks great. And then you have the, just a clean knife version right there, which also looks great right there. So there you get the knives. And then as mentioned on the box, you do get eight different hands. So there's some of the hands that you do get. Plus he has a closed fist. Um, I do like the hands a lot. I think the hands are really nicely detailed and you can see they kind of do have a little bit of dirt on them, but you do get eight total hands. He comes with a tombstone that's made out of polystone. This has some weight to it. I actually really like you know, the, the material they made this out of. I like how you can see the back is kind of like chipping and it does have a really cool stone look to it. But you get that and it reads on there, our beloved daughter, Judith Myers, born November 10th, 1947, died October 31st, 1963. But I do like this a lot. I like, again, I like that it's weathered and I love the material that they use on it. All this is sculpted on there. It's not just written on there. So that's a really nice touch that we do get the tombstone. Another awesome accessory is you do get the jack-o'-lantern. Now this does require batteries and the batteries are inside the box. So just, you know, just be careful when you're opening up the packaging. It does have the batteries in there. So you have to put them in. So here is the jack-o'-lantern. And of course, because like I said, it needs batteries. It does have a light up feature. So you open up the top here and I just dropped it. There's an on and off switch. And then you just turn that bad boy on and uh, it flickers too. That's what's really awesome about it but we do have the jack-o'-lantern right here, but hopefully, let me turn down the lights here, just so you guys can get a little better look. But you can see the pumpkin, and you can see how it does flicker, so that is so awesome. Okay, and the last accessory that you do get is the sheet that he does wear in the first Halloween movie. So we'll get a close-up right there. Hopefully the camera will focus in, and it does have the glasses, and I love that you can still see Michael Myers' eyes in the uh, in, in underneath the sheet, so that is a really cool you know touch to it. Now it does it is an actual cloth, like the NECA one that they came out with 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 the uh, sheet. It, it's like a plastic soft uh, rubber material. This one's an actual cloth. Now the thing about this one that makes this one unique, if you open this up, 
It has the actual neck peg so you can peg it on top of Michael Myers' body. So that's something I have to really get used to because I had a little bit of trouble getting this on there. But you do get the sheet with the glasses and you can see Michael Myers' eyes in there. So those are all the accessories. Let's take a look at Michael. And here he is guys, the shape. This is such a beautiful figure. Now it's a little smaller in scale and I only say that because we're so used to the NECA 7 inch one. And it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to see which is gonna be the better because now that NECA now does have the licensing back for Michael Myers, it's gonna be a lot of competition. Head sculpt actually looks really nice and you can see that you can see his eyes right in the mask, oh, it just looks great. And it does, the cool thing about this is it does actually look like a mask, like somebody underneath the mask. And then you can see the neck right here, so you can see the, the, the skin color. The outfit is all cloth, so he has a mechanic outfit and you can see the stitching. He's got a black shirt underneath. I got him with a closed fist right here. And then he has his dirty boots right there. And there's the bottom, he does have peg holes. But I mean, there's nothing else really I can say about the outfit because again, it's, he's just wearing the mechanic suit. And you can see right here in the back, the back looks a little bit more on the weathered side. And then you can see the stitching, he's got the back pockets. The mask is something that I think just looks amazing. They did a great job. Now, again, this guy has a lot of articulation. If you guys own any of the Mezco figures, you pretty much know the articulation you're gonna be getting with this guy. It's nothing you know, too crazy, but um, he does have pretty good range of motion. I'm not really gonna go over all the articulation on him because again, if you guys have any Mezco figures, you know what you're getting. But um, the head does pop off, so you can put the sheet on there. So let's go ahead and do this there. So you take this part here, and then we'll go ahead and attach the sheet. Okay, personally, I don't know how I feel about the cloth sheet. And of course, it's more it's way more movie accurate rather than a soft rubber material that you can just place over Michael Myers. But I have a little bit of issue, a little bit of a problem getting the peg to sit onto the body. But there is a full look of him with the sheet. Again, I think it looks cool, but it's just a little bit of an issue just, just on mine at least to pop into the body. I think it would have been, been cool if you could just place it over the figure. Either way, still nice little touch again. There he is with the sheet right there. Now as far as interchanging the hands, they all interchange very easy. It's especially this head sculpt right here, it pops in and off very easy. The knife, the knives I should say, holding on to the accessories is no problem at all. So they're not loose or anything, so they stay pretty firm in his hand. And there you go guys, there is my quick little look at the brand new Mezco 112 Michael Myers action figure. I think this is a great figure. Now it's hard to say if this is better than the NECA toys Michael Myers, because NECA, I don't know, NECA, even though this is cloth, and it does look like it's straight out of the movie, at least the first movie, NECA still does an amazing job, but I gotta give it to Mezcos too, because this figure is awesome, and um, I think I, I would have wished if it was just a slightly bit taller, but other than that, I don't really have any complaints. I mean, this is really cool. Um, I got, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. Other than, I gotta get used to the sheet. That's something I have to get used to. I have to really, you know, master on how to interchange that right there. But as far as accessories go, he comes with a great amount of accessories because Michael Meyer doesn't really have a lot of accessories or shouldn't really come with a lot of accessories as far as the first movie goes. But overall, you guys in the comments below, let me know, is this a pickup? Is it a pass? Is it what you guys thought of? Like, is, is it, did it meet your expectations? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I personally love this head sculpt. I think it looks great. Thumbs up the video, guys. Subscribe if you guys haven't. Again, I really want to know your thoughts on this figure. Is it a pickup or is it a pass? We'll see you soon for more review, guys. Thanks for watching. Where are you going? Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.